Hi guys, today we are going to look at the structure of DNA from class 12th NCRT. The theory of inheritance existed since very long but no one could really understand the underlying concepts, the scientific concepts behind how inheritance works. So we all know that the hereditary material in simple organisms is nucleoid and in complex organisms we have the deoxyribonucleic acid or the DNA. Did you know that the length of the DNA of E. coli is 4.6 million base pairs, while humans have a DNA that is 3.3 billion base pairs long. The length of the DNA is defined as the number of nucleotides present in it or a pair of nucleotide referred to as base pairs. But what is the DNA and what does it comprise of? DNA is a long polymer of deoxyribonucleotides and a nucleotide has three components a nitrogenous base, a pentose sugar, and a phosphate group. These sugars might differ in the case of RNA and DNA. So in the case of RNA, we have ribose sugar, and in the case of DNA, we have a deoxyribose sugar. There are two types of nitrogenous bases, purines and pyrimidines. Purines consist of adenine and guanine, and pyrimidines consist of cytosine, uracil, and thymine. Cytosine is common for both DNA and RNA and thymine is present only in DNA. Uracil is present in RNA in place of thymine. A nitrogenous base is linked to the pentose sugar by a N-glycosidic linkage and forms a nucleoside. A phosphate group is linked to the 5-OH of a nucleoside through phosphoester linkage and it forms a nucleotide. Nucleotides join by 3' to 5' phosphodiester linkage to form a dinucleotide which is nothing but just two nucleotides bind together and further join to form a polynucleotide chain. So one end of the chain has a free phosphate and the other has 5' end of the sugar. The backbone of the polynucleotide is formed by sugar and phosphates. The structure of RNA has one minor yet a very large difference from the DNA and that is, in RNA, every nucleotide residue has an additional OH group present at the second position of the ribose. As we know, uracil is present in RNA instead of thymine. And in 1953, Watson and Crick proposed the structure of the DNA to be a double helix. One of the major statements they made were about the complementary base pairing between two strands of polynucleotide chains. Irvin Charkov had previously stated that for a double-stranded DNA, the ratios between adenine and thymine and guanine and cytosine are constant and equals 1. The most important features of the DNA are, it has two polynucleotide chains, the backbone is made of sugar and phosphate and the bases project inside. When we talk about the backbone, it is basically the two strands that wind together like a twisted ladder. The bases inside the strands are paired through hydrogen bonding, so adenosine forms two hydrogen bonds with thymine and guanine forms three hydrogen bonds with cytosine. The two chains are coiled in the right-handed orientation. The distance between one base pair is 0.34 nanometers and there are 10 base pairs in each turn. So hence, the pitch or the distance between 10 base pairs is 3.4 nanometers. In the DNA, the base pairs are stacked over one another and it also has hydrogen bonds which contribute to the additional stability. Which is why DNA is one of the most stable compounds in nature and the proof is in front of all of us. Each and every living organism consists of this tiny molecular structure.